May the gears resume turning. May the batteries be infused. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Iken and this is the blind playthrough on the very hardest difficulty, unfair. And it's not just unfair, it's unfair cranked up to the limit. And today we're going to exterminate chaos. You're alone the cruel. A uh, giant clad in dark crimson armor is in the middle of a sinister litany, his words turning into repulsive eternal stretch and flakes of otherworldly eyes. He does not notice our presence yet. The same cannot be said about Kunra the Voigdvir, who stands at his side. He's completely mutated turquoise eyes flash upon seeing you. He flinches, but remains silent, hesitant to interrupt the ritual. All right, observe it. You feel the string of the surreal force emanating from the sorcerer's fingers and wrapping around the enormous disc of the drill. He is feeding its sacred batteries with profane magic as if they, the motive force subjugating the tech priest's creations at will. I see you, mortal thing. I sense your meek mind. So you are the one who was so eager to meet me and your own demise? Rejoice, brother Twilight, today you become the new rogue trader. Yes, master, I will rectify my mistake and reclaim what was stolen. This guy looks a little bit like uh, Sauron, Lord of the Rings, in his level of... Um, Insanity. We're examining the machine. The platform beneath the sorcerer's feet is dr drilling machine of massive tunneling shield. The mighty mechanism uh, can gnaw through the underground rock bunker, bulkhead reinforced with adamantine, and anything else that may lurk in the planet's depth. Do you have a name, or shall I refer to you as the heretic? You know my name well. I am Ural on the crew. Breaker of misbelievers, truth speaker, triumphant of fame, dark apostle of the blessed word, bear a legion, kneel and offer your prayer of gratitude, for your death could not bear a worthier name. Uh, you must have been preoccupied with something profoundly important if you paid no heed to my obliterating army. Death for the glory of the true God is a blessed fate for any believer, so why would I rob it of them? Every martyr who perishes in the name of the only emperor is the legion. I was tasked with a different mission, to make the Corona Six Pounds behold the sheer impotence of its most eminent protector. Once Calcasar's treasure has been stolen, the secret hoard plundered and his name shamed, the dogs of the false emperor will see the truth. No one will protect them. No one will heed their pleas. Only by bowing to the masters of the immaterium will they earn their right to live. Volkvir, what are you doing here? I am on the path to greatness, true power, the kind of which you and Theodora could only dream of. The Edge of Daybreak promised to weave me into a truly remarkable fate. Uh, okay, there's nothing more to speak about. You are insane and I'm not going to listen to you. We must stop them. The wolf lets out a chilling howl, his pack uh, readying their weapons in acknowledgement of an unequal vocal order to kill. Let those blaspheme against the true God beg forgiveness in vain. Let their lips be sealed, let their hands be severed, let their souls be reaped and scorched.
I love it. Actual Space Marines. That's so cool. <coughs> Glorious fight awaits. Uh, take the heat uh, with the silver tongue traitor, for he is old, sly, and strong. By the All, all Father, the wolves will spill rivers of blood today. Um, I will deal with him. You're a brave one. You're not easily deterred. Then find a way to reach the tunnel platform and give that meager sorcerer something to worry about. Halbert, you stick to the original plan. Take two brothers and go after Doom Screen. Our scouts report he took refuge here in the depth after being defeated in a battle. Uh, I want that uh, to take that holy tin can. Good hunting. Or Doom uh, uh, now it's Ulfurstein. Doom scream. He hides in this den. Step aside, Halbrad. I'll be the one to slay it. I'll claim the quarry for the baleful howl. All right. No one is fast or deadlier than the Stormbiters. We'll see, young wolf. We'll see. Luck be with you. All right, us against three space marines. First of all, let's get a formation going, shall we? Something along the lines of this is our formation. The world trembles beneath my feet. All right, let's go, boys. Let's go. Powers unseen uncover my path. Well, I think there's going to be a fight. I can't believe that this Remember, is not going to be one. Innocence proves nothing. Mercy, I won't dare to stand in the way of the Valencia's smiting strike. Hmm. All right, apparently it's not going to be a fight. I shall not be deterred. More cultists. This can only be a trap. Since when are heretics of chaos just giving up? Crimson is a good color for battle attire. Enemies will perceive no weakness, not even if you are bleeding. My augmentations allow me to function effectively even in the event of extensive blood loss. This is what should concern those who dare to stand against the servant of the Omni Sire in battle. Never All right. I tread a path unexplored. That leads to the main generator sanctum. Good, I have no idea what the main generator sanctum is. It might be the platform uh, that the sorcerer is standing on. Sins hidden in the heart turn all to decay. The light of terror shines for us. The Emperor favors me today. All right, we got a couple of traps, but that is nothing new, to be fair. I better myself through Just my another service. day in the office. 
I am still new to the art of exploring. Nothing escapes my sight. I'm restless. Alright, our agenda definitely has a lot of traps this time. But thankfully, we had uh, invested quite a bit in demolition, so we're Gucci. 22 all lore skills, that's not bad. Never doubt me. A space wolf never fails in their duty. All right, examine the Corgiator. You know enough to determine exactly what's happening to the machine. Glitches, projectors, otherworldly sounds from the inside of the case, an oppressive atmosphere in the room. Everything points towards Scrape Code Infection, one of the stranger and more frightening creations of the Tech Priests. Check for data crypts. Extract data uh, stick. Use a logical key, and we got uh, valuable information. Um, <clears throat> we're breaking the cogiator. You smash the control plan a panel. No one will be able to use this machine. Powers unseen. Uncover it is corrupted, so no point in trying it. At least that's my thought uh, behind it. This looks like we're going to fight a big enemy. Is, this an, is that a boss? Let's hope we're not fighting this uh, thing. Embrace true power. Is that the machine that they were talking about? Psychenman Valencius, conqueror of steel, smite of true flesh. We initiate uh, the capitulation protocol. Nowhere under this chrome firmament and leaden haze is the cogiator's array capable of designating productive methods of opposing you. Your indestructible legion have annihilated all who dare to stand in their way, no matter what they threw at you. Yet all turned to dust. Um, your servants are then trampled uh, into oil and soot. The survivors of few mercy, we beg for mercy. Lay down your weapons and you'll await your judgment. Got a couple of sniper rifles and carbines and a lot of experience. And since we're not heretics, we're not going to just eliminate them. I have to wonder though what is behind here. There is a little bit of warp and I would like to get that away. And I've just seen a few enemies over there as well. Cultists, they don't look like they would be giving up. But it's nice that some of them are giving up, so let's uh, change for once. Okay, we're not fighting the one that is up there, but we're definitely fighting one of these things. Holy smokes. Alright, Heinrich. Pascal, Cassia. Saiken and Argenta. All right, let's start the battle. Give it a go. Let's see. 
how well we're going to do. Um, we're looking at what? 7 resolve or 17 points? Ah, 7 resolve is fine. And all far. There please. is no mercy found in my heart. Be so kind and uh, eliminate these heretics. 2% chance of hitting. I beg your pardon. How's that possible? So shall it be. All right, let's start. Alright, we're going to start with moving to here, push this guy back for free, kill, couple of shots in this direction. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, man. Keep it going. Plasma battery. Uh, looks like something we can destroy. Lovely. I for Cubs play. I will carve runes out of your bones. Fabulous. <coughs> How many uh, stacks do we have? Enough. That's almost 10 stacks. Fantastic. But we're not done yet. Uh, it wouldn't be. A true round if we wouldn't have got an Argenta here. I'll do it. Who is starting to hit that Technomat? I'll do it. And then we are. As the Emperor commands, I act. Shooting a couple more bolter shots. <laughs> Free reload and Can't hit this uh, thing. Unfortunate. Well, Pain cleanses the body. we're moving up. And what are we going to do? Uh, how about I have read moving to here? Military tactics. Starting to go to here. If I may. So I can get a little bit more willpower. Good, what else do we have? We do have um, all allies gain 15 deflection against warp damage, which is not relevant here. 
And we got uh, Vigil Beyond Time. Where we can mark a target uh, to just get uh, back to its original state. Uh, we're doing that with Ulfar here. I do have the feeling that he might uh, get a hit. So over here, 5,300 hit points. Sure. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. After it's debuffed, 4,600. That's 1,000 points of damage. Lovely. Wolfo gets another turn. Forty damage. I don't think that that is really what we want. None can do this better than a warrior of the All Father. Uh, that looks more like what we're looking for. Give me a bit of that. And give me concentrated firing. And give me devastating attack. And now we got almost everything ready. Here we go. thing is a lot of armor but it will soon not have that anymore as we're slowly but surely wincing through that I challenge you damn dead I will carve runes out of your bow can already see that the plasma batteries have something to do with uh, the situation here. Oh, we forgot one cultist there. That's unfortunate. Very good. So debuff this. This, this, this. Okay, just out of curiosity, like that would deal 300 points of damage, that here would deal 600. <coughs> Funny how the old staff or the lower staff is better than the newer one. Psychon buffs himself, he's this, and we're looking at like what, 1337, that's lead damage right there, ladies and gentlemen. Over a thousand, good job man, good job. Faith without deeds is worthless. Good, one more dead. 
As the Emperor commands, I act. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. I believe those plasma batteries might be a problem. Couple of hits, and we're having some very, very good hits here. You, my Argenta is loading up her. is loading up uh, her uh, stacks as well. Hundred thirty points of damage, lovely. Um, he's already debuffed. I think I we're just degenerating the veil. That is helpful. And just in case someone is Me? using psychic powers. If you insist, Lord Captain. All right, continuing to hammer home the message. That thing hasn't even landed a single hit. But to be fair, it's still round number one. We only had bonus turns, which is the whole reason why that thing took so long to even start being useful. Little machine banishment, I like that. Overloaded plasma shot. Misses, surprisingly enough. He still did not manage to mi uh, to hit the single uh, single attack. Good, we're doing this. We're doing a little bit of that. Some of that and that. More of this, uh, it's because it's all free buffs. And Ulfar, you, my good sir, you need to move. Don't dishonor the wolf with such tasks. But before we do that, uh, let's do a nice little barrage, followed by some flamer. And we're using your ultimate, because that allows us to move out of here. And it also allows us to take individual shots, uh, some of which remove plasma batteries. Um, 
Uh, there is one over here, but we'll get that very soon. And look at that, all of a sudden, without the plasma batteries, the thing is taking real damage. And we are increasing our damage to 1,600, up to 1,600, sorry. Psychic Scream would be 800. Wow, Psychic is dealing a lot of damage, man. Alright, if you roll bad, it is random damage non nonetheless. Heinrichs, please take that. No one has taken damage, so we're actually super okay. Ruin beckons. Good. After only what feels like an hour, it's f finally Heinrichs' first turn. But of course, Lord Captain. Naturally. For the throne's glory. Let's see to it. Okay, he got a few new powers, so... These are all single target buffs. We'll take the healing uh, there as well. And these are nasty enemy debuffs. Can't reach that, but I think we're okay. I'll put my psychic abilities to use. Get the thing on us. Very good. Taunting. Uh, psychic over uh, charge Ulfar, who, by the way, uh, could potentially just take that thing out. 500 points of damage. Lovely. <laughs> okay, well, I just realized. We need to kill the batteries. That's not good. Our foes rank of cowardice. But of course, Lord Cam. Nice. He hits like a truck as well. Come on, Ulfa, why can't you... Oh, you can't move through that little hole, is what you're telling me. And you can't move through there. Alright, Ulfa is the only one who cannot shoot for the life, uh, for the love of it. He just, just cannot shoot that thing. That and that. Never mind. Well, we gave him a few uh, turns, but this team here is so strong. Have you seen the amount of damage that we're putting off? 
Wow. A couple of nice plasma pistols Let's as well. Seize the opportunity. Embrace true. Yeah, power. all of them were dead before anything even you. happened. The injectors are filled with unknown concussion that is delivered into the bodies of the weakened captives. Triumphant. The air around the cage always. of the people is almost ringing with sorcerous energy. We killed that big machine relatively quickly. What's that? Tepper's first. Each time the wearer deals damage to an enemy with a ranged attack from range of five cells or further. Okay. What are you? What's your yes. current mantle doing? I don't want uh, Ulfar to become the main target. That is not his job. He's dealing a lot of damage, but why would I make him the main target? That's what Heinrich's job is. Ulfar is just there to kick ass. Powers unseen, uncover my path. Wait, that's a power sword? What is it, Rogue Trader? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, it's not a four sword, it's a power sword. Good swords. The world will bow. By the way, can can't we just disarm this? Apparently not. Intriguing. Acquisition possible. The Emperor sets my path. Perfection. Let's see the opportunity. I think <coughs> that machine, by the way, <coughs> was the one that Ulfar was hunting together with us. Alright, you decay. begin to heal yourself, Argenta. And we are continuing deeper into that sanctum. Embrace true power. These guys already have given up. Kidding me? We God damn it! All right, let's start the battle. Triumphs. Triumphs. 
Good. We're going to give Ulfar the honor. Whispers. Guide my hand. So it shall be. That and None that. This better than a warrior of the old father. Let's go. These things seem to have a lot of defense, elsewise our bolter would deal a little bit more damage, but we're just about to load up, so don't worry yet. Good, fantastic. He definitely has gotten a lot of hits in. Now, time for Heinrich to shine. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Ulfar gets above. This thing here gets a debuff. Heinrich buffs himself. Even more buffs. Don't mind that we're spawning a lot of chaos here. Let's see to it. I won't go down easy. Cool. So, Cassia not to cross my gaze. Moves in. If I may. Puts this down. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Me. If you insist, Lord Captain. So what do we have? We need to pull them together. We got these two. I am a navigator. Cassia buffs herself. Deal some damage over there. If I may. Dare you. And there we go. Once one more dead. Oh, and let's buff all for a little bit more, shall we? None can do better than a warrior of the old father. I hunger for battle. No, no. Well, my friends are going to evade, so here we go. How did we... How did we shoot our own characters? It is said that we're evading at 100%. I feel... Betrayed. I'm 
not accustomed to being ordered around. I hate it that Pascal goes down like that. God Emperor, move Lord through me. Be the fire in my heart. All right. A little bit more of this. I'll do it. Faith without deeds is worthless. I will not. I'll do it. As the Emperor, you, my Emperor. Very good. And a couple more shots, please. Doubt is for the weak. Uh, unfortunately, not a hit. This is unacceptable. Emperor, give me strength. Lord Captain. Good. Let's. Ah, uh, I could have saved Pascal. Unfortunately, I haven't. I really feel bad for that. A couple of hundred hit points damage there. Me. Assist, Lord Captain. A little bit more damage, and Ulfar begins to move up. Here we go. Hmm, we should have a better way of reloading with him. It's unfortunate uh, that we can't do anything. Can't even move up. Alter is uh, empty. That is foolishness. Argenta gets another buff. This is like what? 20 hit point, uh, 20 uh, stats? Yep. That's good. Need to get up there, but that'll happen in a second. First, let's get that pink horror down. There we go. Fantastic. Don't dishonor the wolf with such tasks. All right, I think we're okay. We did all we could uh, with uh, the turn.
but I'm getting there. Then this is in battle! All shanks bleed! Agenda gets a buff. Ulfa gets a buff. Let's see to it. The Emperor is on our side, naturally. Fantastic. Let's tumble through here. I want to take some opportunity. And for everyone that we're dodging, our Psy rating will go up. Uh, currently we should be at, like, what Psy rating? Potentially a lot. Psi rating 12, that is good. Everyone step aside. Now Psi rating 13. And uh, Argenta gets <laughs> 13 action points. All right, I have officially broken the game. This is beyond ridiculous. Good free reload. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, I act what is a oh, My faith shields me. The We're moving on. The Emperor will be undone. A little bit of healing. damage and we're now also up to eight stacks so we're good uh, plus 14 that is not the emperor's will but of course lord captain all right argenta man that was a crazy turn was a holy task Fantastic hits, I like that. Almost free reload. I'll do it. Doubt is for the weak. <laughs> oh yeah, very good. Well, we're free reloading and Argenta is just continuing. Do it. As the Emperor commands, I 
Faith without deeds is worth you might She's dealing good damage as well. I like what I'm seeing. We almost shot the Volter empty again. Oh yeah, well that was good. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. Heinrich gets some extra uh, buffs. I like that. Uh, even one more buff here, because why not? Me, if you insist, Lord Captain. Good, very good, Herald of Seneth. This will be your undoing. I won't object to it. I want to get the sword of the Emperor. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Cassia could not hit either of them. Me. If well, that automatic Captain. debuff costs uh, this guy 300 hit points. And another 150 damage as well. I like what if I'm seeing. Ouch. Why is Saiken not getting up, by the way? Oh, now? Now you feel like getting up, yeah? Eh? Let's do this. I don't want to risk another hit. So shall it be in disgrace. Fabulous. See how the wolf succeeds. Father. 
Heinrichs heals everyone and knocks himself out fantastic perfect timing by the way for that injuries will not slow me I am his will made manifest all right so what are we going to do? Reload. Get this guy almost down. Go for another kill. I'll do it. Doubt is for the weak. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll do it. Argenta takes her rifle. Um I will not. Can't really move away. That's one hit. Uh, we're going to Do not dare ask. Uh, just do another one. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Fabulous. Can we give Psyche a turn? Will far? No, no one. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Me. You insist, Lord Captain. Deliver us. All right, Saiken. My resolve is unshaken. Heals everyone. Can I hit over there? Yes, I can, and that's what we shall do. Up to two thousand three hundred. Okay. Show them no mercy. He just killed all of them <laughs> in one go. All right. So, what are the lessons? The only uh, one who can stop us is ourselves. So, what what went wrong, and what are we going to do different the next time? Number one. The game is lying at you when it tells you that uh, with controlled shot, uh, the soldier will give the, uh, them a sign that they are about to open fire. Uh, the soldier and their allies will automatically dodge the soldier's next attack. That is untrue. As we have seen, uh, it can lead to very much one-shot killing Pascal. So that was how Pascal died. And to be I'm fair, Heinrichs... Uh, never was in danger unle uh, until he decided to basically just kill himself by continuing uh, to cast in deep deep warp Remember, perils so lesson there just use Cassia in order to get the warp perils down I wasn't casting anything necessarily important 
rather use uh, the time to get uh, Sword of Faith because that's exactly what we would want to have um, him with a huge Sword of Faith uh, in the front line. Uh, Metabolic Overcharge, by the way, fantastic ability as well. So, uh, gotta be a bit uh, careful the next time. And that was really all there was to it. Our damage dealers dealt phenomenal uh, amounts of damage, both of them. Cassie was good. Saigon was good like there there was nothing wrong with that uh, fight from that perspective it was just us being our own worst enemy so to speak good and that's pretty much it uh, because we're already an hour in thanks a lot for watching guys we're going to face the word bearers the next time for now I think we successfully showcased that this party indeed is officially overpowered um, we're going to uh, go into the next hardcore fight uh, just in one more episode. So until then, thanks a lot. Have a good one and praise the Emperor. Bye-bye.